Okay. Hey everyone. All right. So in my household, um, I have a whole bunch of rechargeable batteries because, you know, environmentally minded. Also, it's annoying to keep buying them, and so it's usually you know, AAA, or AA. And so I've kind of gone through the gambit. I wanted to share with you guys what I found. Um, I've tried the alkaline recyclables and or rechargeables. Uh, they tend to not last. They, you don't. It doesn't feel like I get the 500 charges out of it. The cost really isn't that much cheaper, and they tend to rupture and corrode the contacts. And plus, you have to keep a separate charger just for that, because if you plug those into a nightcab or a uh, metal, metal nickel hydride charger, um, you'll be sad. So most of us get one of these, and these are actually reusable. You know, it plugs in the wall. It's got four bays, um, but the problem is you need two at a time, and they have to be of like fence. They have to be all double A's or all, or all well, triple A's. Um, this isn't bad. Usually there's some sort of indicator up here, and that indicator will, you know, it's it's kind of a ghost indicator. Well, something's done. I don't know if both are charged, one's charged. So I did a little homework, and I went off, and I finally bought something. This is what I want to share with you guys. The Tenergy TN160. Okay, I, I didn't do the unboxing because it just comes in bubble wrap, and I didn't think anybody would care. Um, it comes with a reasonably long cord. The only thing that... Uh, that I, if I was going to say anything I didn't like about it at this point, it would be that the screen's always on, so you have to unplug it, and that's a, you know, there it goes out. Now, the screen is interesting because you can only see it either head-on or an angle like this. If you start choosing at this angle, it goes away. Now, why is this thing kind of cool? It's got also, it's got one button. It's got uh, charge and discharge in case you need to do that. So if you have nightcaps, every once in a while with nightcaps, because of crystal formation within the battery, you have to discharge them all the way. But on the reverse side, uh, nickel cadmium batteries do not lose charge very fast. And they have an amazing battery life. So, but most of us use nickel metal hydride. And, and part of this has to do with um, an oil company taking possession of the NICAD battery industry, which is why you won't find electric cars running on NICADs. So anyways, enough of that aside. Here is what is so cool about this. Okay, you plug in individual bays, and they don't have to be alike. There's 12 bays in this thing. And then when you plug it in, one of these is bad. One of my double, one of my double A's is bad, and I don't know which one. Now, I've probably been swapping around pretty regularly in my rotation, but when you look here, you see individual battery readings. And it turns out that, oops, sorry, that this is my bad one which I have been rotating this guy in through a while. Now you can take a, a volt amp meter and test them individually, but you have to have it on hand, you gotta be ready to do it. It's not a big deal, but it's one of those things where unless it's right there on the bench, you're just not gonna do it. Uh, and most people don't have bench. This is designed to go in the household. And what also what I discovered is even ones that were hard to charge, like some of my batteries will charge quickly, but I'll have some ones that are probably on their way out. They're hard to charge, I just left them in and it eventually charged them. Uh, this bad one just never never went. So immediately I was able to rotate this out of the pile and he'll get recycled and probably dropped off the batteries plus or something. So uh, the charge times are pretty reasonable. And like I said, you can also do a decharge. If you want to decharge all, like you got a bunch of nightcads and their, their battery memory is going on, you can just go ahead and hit the decharge term in here, not with your others, and it'll empty out the battery. Um, now, I don't know if you probably can't hear it, but there is a slight um, With all electronics, there's going to be, if it's put together in such a way that it hasn't been balanced or there hasn't been, something isn't bolted down correctly, you often hear like a resonance. That's really not a big deal. It's, it's actually really, really faint. You really have to strain it to use it. Now, I do unplug mine, and I don't like charging them unless I'm around. That's just... A, a rule I like to adopt because I, I don't like fires but um, you know this is UL covered it's about 40 bucks on Amazon and um, it is it is really this is cool this is a nice solution for those of us who all use um, or to try to use exclusively rechargeables this is a good answer and for um, you know I'm sorry it's $34.99 I'm looking on here now um, this is a great unit I, I mean, I'm sure there are better units out there, but if you've got 40 bones and a whole bunch of rechargeables, this is a nice answer. They don't have to be the same, and I hope that helps anyone. If you have any questions, please let me know, but uh, 
I thought this was good enough to give you my impressions. My impressions is this is a buy.